early this year, I came out as gay to my husband, uh, soon to be ex, and he had the sweetest and most amazing reaction, and this is what he said. What did you say? I said that I was so proud of you, and that was the bravest thing I've seen that anyone do. And now we are going our own separate ways, and we're about to put this house on the market, and that's all she wrote. He liked my ex-husband be that good of a person. He ain't no good person. He thought he was going to get a threesome out of the situation. That's that's all it was. He thought he was going to get a threesome out of the situation. I'm sorry, but um no. Nah, I ain't I'm not accepting that. I'm not accepting that at all. I'm not going to be like your ex-husband. No. Whatever shit you out there game I'm I'm tapping it too. We she she gonna get married to the both of us. Gay my app. <laughs> I ain't going for that. <laughs> what the? She had dentures and the the socks are dentures. I'm not sorry. Bruh. Anytime I see somebody that I feel as though is too young to have dentures, I always wondered the story. What were you into that made you lose all your teeth? Now, I, I, I know it might sound wrong, because some of them stories might be tragic. You might have gotten in an accident. You might have been in an abusive relationship. But at the same time, maybe it's my nasty-ass fantasy, because I... Let's be honest, men. We we've, we've all wondered what it would be like to get that um Eureka Hoover from a woman with no teeth. As men, we have some very interesting fantasies. Now, some people take it too far. Got folks out here who love feet a little too much. Some people take it too far. You know what I'm saying? You got guys that that like getting pegged. I ain't going that far. But I can admit for myself that I've always wondered what it would be like to uh you know to get vacuum cleaned by 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 a um by a woman with no teeth pop them dentures out i don't want them dentures cuz the them dentures ain't yours you might not have no control over those you might bite me pop the dentures out i'm pretty sure a straight hurricane could i can't say that <laughs> Yeah. You better run to your car. Hey. Walmart. Typical Walmart behavior. Typical Walmart behavior. Mm. Yo, is my car ready? <laughs> This is typical Walmart behavior. You would never see this at Target. You would never see this at Whole Foods. But at the same time, it's crazy that, that you know, uh, this particular video popped up on my timeline. I feel as though we all have that one coworker that uh, we feel deserves an ass whooping. It'd be a lot of... Snake activities going on. It's how he said you cost me my job, which means that homie that he was chasing through the, the aisles was, was involved in some, some snake activities. I'm not going to go in and talk about my job like that, uh, but I really like my job. But of course, I do realize that we have a coworker who be on some snake shit, bro. And when I first started working there, people warned me about folks. They were warning me. 
They said, yo, he doesn't take responsibility for anything he does. And if anything, he's like, he, he has cost a lot of people their job from just being sneaky. My partner left some boys in the side of the car, right? <laughs> this drunk ass dude. <laughs> he ain't still no, he ain't still, put his money all on the floor. <laughs> Why you still one? <laughs> Who would I do to punk like this? <laughs> punk ass, drunk ass. Out the car. So broke ass out of here. Yo, a lot of times I be on Facebook and I see people posting RIP to this person, RIP to that person. You never know what the deceased has done to somebody else. You never know what the deceased has done to somebody's family member. Granted, she's wrong for stealing ones, but you put her on camera and proceeded to hit her with a large cup of soda. She could take you to jail for assault, but what if one of her family members see this video? What if she has a brother that sees this video? What if she has a cousin that sees this video and now her cousin wants your head? I don't feel as though people be thinking, bro, Clout is a hell of a drug. Like, everybody wants to be famous. The internet has really messed it up for a lot of people, bro. Matter of fact, is it the internet or is it camera phones? What was the point of that, bro? You could have kicked out the car and just say, yo, I can't I can't rock with you. You stealing. You a thief. I can't rock with you. You a thief. But you had to be extra and hit it with that guy. I think, what was that? That looked like, like, like fruit punch. You had to be extra and hit it with the fruit punch. Well, he turned. He turned the jets on just now. Shout out to the law enforcement out here, man. I know a lot of y'all gonna say fuck 12, but man, I got friends who are cops. And some of these stories that I hear, some of these stories I hear, bro, are, are crazy. It's like when I wanted to join the Army. I wanted to join the Marines. I wanted to be a Marine. And then uh, my boy, who was in Iraq, was telling me stories. One was in Iraq, one was in Afghanistan. But basically, bro, they was telling me how you'd be walking down the street and there'd be little kids walking with AK-47s, and that's regular. Them, them Middle Eastern kids is walking around with AK-47s, and it's regular. Nah. I don't got it in me. I do not have it in me. Mm -mm. A $25 date in Colombia. Here's how it went down. I'm back in Colombia. My date's on the way. Uh, I'm going to see how much fun we can have with just 100,000 pesos. This equals only about $25. Let's go. This is our first date, so we're both feeling kind of nervous, and the language barrier caused some misunderstandings, to say the least. Are you no, it's no busy. 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 Yeah. She told me how she grew up in a small town out in the jungle and wanted to show me what some of the local fruit tasted like. Super delicious. Oh, I like it. I like it better than this. As the date went on, we relaxed a little bit. <laughs> I ordered us some drinks and she showed me a local mix. I had to order some empanadas and we were both vibing in Spanglish until she spoke too far. Women here are very feminine, right? Yeah. 
<laughs> in Uruguay for two years. Two years. Uh, did you already apply? Mm -hmm. uh, you need a 90 day fiance. Someone to marry you. Uh, yes. We noticed directly behind us was a church. I don't know what you guys would have done in this situation, but I'll tell you what I did. Part two is coming. Make sure you follow me. I got good shit. I ain't gonna lie, dog. Once she got to speaking that 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 ish. <laughs> Once she got to speaking that ish, I had to pull Polo Santos out, boy. She having evil thoughts. But man, she letting it be known she want a visa. That bitch said, I've been I've been waiting two years for a visa. What's up? That's basically what she's saying. But another thing I noticed. Because you got to pay attention to these things. She said she grew up in a village, but her teeth, man, her teeth are extremely, extremely white. Um, they giving me veneers vibes. So I don't know what type of village, what type of money they got in the jungle for her to afford uh, veneers. She's viral right now for her statement that on the first date, she thinks it's appropriate to ask a male, I want to see your bank account. I have asked the last three dudes I've dated for their bank account info on the first date. Genuinely I, doesn't believe that, yeah. Why, no, do you, why, do you, why not, though? Because it's just stuff that she hears, like Emily Ratajkowski is getting on live and saying that women should divorce. Mia Khalifa is saying divorce is good. All the women that these girls, like the Birkenbag girls, look up to are just like divorced whores. Like, it's just a waste of time. Okay. So like, they just say stuff because they like to feel like a girl boss that they don't even mean. You're not asking for my bank account password. It's not happening. Sorry. I know it's like, yeah, because you... What's good money? Pull up your account. I, my phone is dead. Okay. What is, what is good? Until you can pull up your account, then... Well, give us an idea. Why does it have to be about me? Is, is a couple I'm million enough? Voice. Is a couple million enough? Maybe. Yeah. Isn't that wild? Like, nowadays, the, the, the market is so inflated that to get a 31-year-old girl... You know what's funny, though? You need to have multi-million dollars, like, to get a ran through 31-year-old, like, <sighs> sweatpants, burger bag girl. You I need know. to have multi multiple M's in the bank. I know. That's insane. You can't just, you can't just be funny and have a fucking 8-inch hammer hold, anymore. Hold what on. the fuck? Hold on. Do you, do you hate women? No, no. I love Are women. you sure? I do. I love women. What's your relationship like with your I mom? I have a great relationship with my mom. Really? She I hugged did. you and shit when you were I little? Did. I was just talking to her right before this. Like, right before I walked in, she was, I was... Why do you her. find that so hard to believe? Mm, I'm feeling a little anger. Misogyny. No, don't, don't, don't you dare say that word. Don't you dare say that word. I'm sorry, cook right now. This I, is just, I think when you were a little kid, something happened. Okay, what do you think happened? He hurt her feelings with that, that washed up 31-year-old. What's wrong with you? what's wrong with y'all? What is wrong? Like why are you? <laughs> like who do you think you are? You need a couple millions in the bank. You don't look like you got no ass. I bet you you can't cook. I'm, I, yo, listen. This the, this the last video. That this that just that just got me upset. Um, make sure you guys subscribe. If you've been watching the videos, I know a lot of y'all watch the videos and you're not subscribed. Go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Um, the goal is to hit 100k before 2024. So before 2024, I want to hit 100k subscribers. I want to get that plaque. So let's make this happen.